All right, this is the big day. We get to show you the medical mobile RV. It's a work in progress. So I'm going to hand it over to Dr. Leela and her folks. She's going to interview them and show you this thing and what the Lord is doing through your support and making this a reality. Dr. Leela, show us around and tell us what's going on. Well, first of all, we just want to thank you so much for your generosity and the blessing of God, the mobile medical unit, the post spike protein exposure mobile medical unit is in my driveway. You're going to be taking a tour in just a second. I want to introduce you to Mr. George Gilbert. And there's Mrs. Gilbert there. They've been working nonstop on trying to get this mobile unit. It's got to be ready by just a couple weeks because this thing is going to be launched. And so one of the things that has had to happen is we had to remove uh, some of the decals that were on it. But before we talk about all the amazing things that's had to go into getting it ready, I want to start by uh, saying, a, first of all, a very special thank you to you viewers for your participation and most importantly to God. And there's an even bigger story going on here. Um, Mr. Gilbert, a few weeks ago, what's it been? How many weeks has it been well, since it's been you're about in? A month. a month, four weeks ago, um, you and I were going to go to Northern California on a particular day. It was a Thursday. I'll never forget. And I was finishing work. I made a quick call and Jeffrey Gilbert answered the phone. I said, I was going to tell you, Hey, I'm ready to leave. And Jeffrey told me something unusual that happened. What happened to you? Well, I got an accident, um, backhoe. I was hit by uh, the bucket of a backhoe and knocked into a wall. And, um, I, uh, broke my hip and my uh, pubic and also uh, pelvis as well as my uh, two ribs uh, were broken and they were afraid that I had broken my my back my spine as well so you had as far as I can remember you had four vertebral fractures a couple of hip fractures they thought and at least two if not four ribs and so Obviously, we didn't get to go that day. We went to the hospital instead. We didn't get to go get this mobile unit. And the scary thing was this. Not only was Mr. Gilbert extremely injured with an absolutely life-threatening injury, but all of your amazing generosity and the blessing of God, the owner of the particular unit that we're going to show you in just a minute was going to sell it to two other people. And we had this quick opportunity. And so most importantly, Mr. Gilbert, a lot of people and many of them on this viewing started praying for you because this was an absolutely life-threatening emergency. And what happened? You went in on a Thursday night, and when were you discharged from hospital? Oh, the following Monday. Wait, wait, wait. You were only in the hospital from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you were discharged on Monday with life-threatening injuries. Yeah, I could have been discharged on, on Sunday. And... Uh, I was walking, oh, maybe two to three days later. Brothers and sisters, this was an absolute miracle. I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, it was an absolute miracle. When I first saw, which is my father, Mr. Gilbert, in the hospital, um, it was a very scary moment. And God worked an amazing miracle. I couldn't believe it. A couple of days after discharge, he was walking around the house. And currently, he's not just walking, he's been working non-stop with Mrs. Gilbert on this mobile unit. And you see what they've actually been doing is, what are you guys been doing? Taking off the wrap. So taking off the wrap, what are you, why are you taking the wrap off? What are we gonna do We're now? gonna put a brand new Liberty and Health Alliance wrap on it. So the whole, the whole motor home will be covered with a wrap. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be advertising the mega clinic, advertising the amazing programs that are taking place. We want to show you this mobile unit. So walk with me here. Mr. Gilbert, what is this? This is something exciting. This, this is this is our handicap ramp. It's powered. The patients can wheel their wheelchair right up onto it. It raises up and it comes right into the floor. And then when they're in, then it lower, comes back out, lowers, uh, lowers it down, and then stows itself back in into the uh, unit. It's amazing. Let's go inside and take a look around. So again, we're just going to be following myself here into the mobile medical unit. The mobile medical unit is actually quite interesting. We have two exam rooms. You can see they're fully functional. You have an exam bed, window. It looks like a clinic. It's so exciting to me. And when I saw this, I just could not help but praise God. You know, with such an 
event. And I didn't mention that the man who was going to sell the mobile unit to the other people, because we got such a blessed good deal on it. And because of your generous giving, when he found out, he actually watched what Liberty and Health did in Tampa. And when he saw that, he said, no, he said, they may be offering me more money, but I am going to hold this for you guys until Mr. Gilbert is able to make it up to California. You can see again, this is the second exam room. It's fully equipped, full exam room. It's just such a blessing from God. Amazing, amazing opportunities. We will be able to serve a lot of patients. We have a wonderful little waiting area. There's a lab over here. Here's the laboratory area. There's a restroom. It also has the opportunity of being a can handicap entrance. Again, God truly, truly has blessed, even a kitchen. So I just want to encourage all of you. Thank you so much for participating in this wonderful endeavor. We are still short on funds, but we are working hard. God is blessing. And this summer is going to be phenomenal. So if you haven't yet gone to libertyandhealth.org and register, we ask that you do so immediately. This is a wonderful opportunity. If you can't make it to Phoenix, again, please continue to remember us in your prayers. And we're also in need, a great need of funding specifically for our youth right now. So again, thank you so much for your participation. Thank you for what God has in store. This unit is going to be launched in two and a half weeks by the grace of God. We are looking forward to what God has in store. Until next time, God bless you. And let's end with a prayer right now. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you and praise you so much for everything that you've done. Thank you for giving us this mobile unit. We ask that you would please bless it. Please help it to bring many, many souls to you, to the knowledge that you love them, that you've died for them, and that you have perfect health eternal health in store if they so choose. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. Again, God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you in Phoenix.